I'm Sophia, and these are my Woodville friends, Chelsea and Gabe. At Woodville, we are in charge of our learning. That means we know what types of learners we are. We know our strengths, we know our weaknesses, we set goals for ourselves, and we celebrate our achievements. Tonight, we are going to tell you about our data binders. This is no ordinary white binder. It holds all of my data. And every student in Woodville has their own binder with their own data. That's right, even our kindergarten students. Uh, we have tabs for myself, my goals, my learning, my celebrations, and my communications. Impressive, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is impressive, Sophia. My favorite tab is my self tab. So, I was that when I did good night. Do you need some help? Here, here. Yeah, Dave, we'll set right here on the corner for you. Okay. Thanks, Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> in this tab, I track my attendance data. You all know why it's important to come to school each day on time? Why? 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 <laughs> I'm always looking at the top one. That's right, my goal is perfect attendance. So you can see what's on the green boxes. Thank you, Mr. White. I'm doing pretty well. Of course, I may have a red or yellow box every once in a while, but it's also important to stay home if I'm sick. At Woodville, it's important to take care of itself. I love my self tab too. It's important to be at school in order to learn. Speaking of learning, take a look at my fluency data. I read 167 words last week, and this week I read 172 words per minute. My goal is 210 words. When I reach that goal, I'll be sure to celebrate. Speaking of celebration, I've already celebrated three times this year. I got an Oscar in my classroom for behaving and helping others. And I even got an ice cream sandwich for being in a school with amazing high test scores. What are some goals you have set for yourselves? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> More ice cream sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> Goals that you remember to celebrate. Can you share your data book with me? Because I do have some goals that I wouldn't like to share publicly, but yeah. <laughs> you should be very proud of yourself. Wow. All this talk about goals makes me want to share mine. <laughs> okay, so these are my this is my AR goals. Now in this graph, I, I keep up with how many points I have for the quarter. I, I set a goal for myself of how many I want to achieve, which for this quarter was 130 points. I met that goal because now I have 137. This is my window panes tab. It shows what, what, what are my goals are in a long period of time. Like at the end of this year, I want to get the Samuel Woodfield Award. And five years from now, I want to be able to pick and attend a college of my choice. And 10 years from now, I want to try and start a successful business based on the arts. And 50 years from now, I want to travel the world with my kids and grandkids. <laughs> I think I reach my goals because I know what type of learner I am. I learn best when it's quiet and when I'm working alone or with a small group. Do you know how you learn best? Quiet. Noise. <laughs> Shocking that we're opposite. <laughs> Good. It's very important to understand what types of learners we are. Thank you for listening, as we are in charge of how, we're le how we learn. We can pass around these data binders for you all to see. And feel free to stop in any time and check them out. Now, do we have any questions? I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless, and it's rare that I'm speechless. You guys are unbelievable. I mean, what, we have first grade, third grade, and fifth grade, is that right? 
I'm just so impressed in that you're owning your data and you're setting goals for yourself, not only for this school year, but 50 years from now. And I just think that that's amazing. Public speaking skills around here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Better than I'm, most adults I know. I, yes. <laughs> Myself included. Appreciate it. Awesome. So, so that's it. So as, as the kids talk, you know, the kids, so, uh, so, you know, we've been uh, working on our data binders for some time. Uh, I think we've probably been going out on uh, a couple weeks now. It, you wouldn't be amazed how hard it is to get 420 white binders uh, shipped for the start of school. That was our biggest hang up. Uh, but we did get those in. Every student K through five has a student data binder and uh, we've got consistency across the grade levels. Um, consistency across the school like on the attendance tab um, but it's, it's a really uh, good thing and I think we've got going kids really bought into it teachers have bought into it and we really think it's going to pay dividends you know in the long term so it's great do you, do you guys color in your term. own data uh, your attendance data every day yes. so you make the green color and if you're absent you make a different color is that how that works and we also have late, late. which is late. yellow okay so that was that's where the red and the yellow came in that you talked about how old are you good uh, six, six. You have great speaking skills for a six-year-old. All three of you do, but uh, 